The time is 8.13. You're listening to Daybreak on CBC Radio 1, 91.5 FM in Prince George, 8.60 AM in Prince Rupert. More questions have been raised about the state and health of Meiji civic infrastructure following a cargo ship that crashed into a Baltimore bridge, which caused it to collapse. And while doing his PhD at UVic, Harsh Rathod uh, started a company that is trying to make infrastructure safer. He's using drones and computer vision to complete infrastructure inspections, and he joins us on the phone from Vancouver. Good morning. Morning. So what, what's happened uh, that's inspired you to start this company? So I started uh, working on my PhD back in 2015. So, you know, at that time, the big question was, okay, how can I use computer vision and robotics to solve some of the infrastructure inspection-related issues, right? Um, And, you know, fast forward about four years uh, when I was working on finishing up my PhD, um, an incident happened in India where, uh, you know, there were a few cracks on the structure, but uh, the inspectors decided to not to do anything because they weren't sure whether these cracks were, uh, you know, causing potentially causing any issues or not. So later on, that the bridge collapsed in India. About 28 people died. Mm. But you know, there were some of my family members used to cross that bridge. You know, fortunately on that day they were safe. But that kind of created a trigger that you know I'm working on this as part of my PhD. Can I actually commercialize this technology and? you know, solve some of the inspection-related issues. So, yeah, that was a big yeah. inspiration moment for me. Yeah. And it and it goes to the point, speaking about your family there, when we when we drive, when we walk, um, when we when we go on these these things like bridges or roads or whatever it is, there's a lot of faith that people, the public puts into the design and the inspection of of these uh, pieces of infrastructure that we depend on every day, and we kind of take it for granted that it's just going to be there and it's going to work, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when we design, we think that okay, you know, it's going to last forever. But instructors have actual design life, and you know, as we look at North American infrastructure, you know, if almost fifty percent of the infrastructure, uh, critical infrastructure, I should call it, it have gone actually beyond their design life, right? So if we look at them, right. Now, there's a chance that it's go- already going beyond the design line. So that means the risk, you know, associated with uh, the infrastructure is actually increased uh, compared to what we've been doing for the last century. Yeah. And it's certainly something that you don't appreciate or feel until something goes wrong, until that infrastructure breaks down. So uh, let's switch a little bit here to your research and to uh, the, the techniques that you're hoping to use here. What is the advantage of using drones to do infrastructure inspections? Yeah. So if you look at the, the current way of doing things, basically, you know, inspectors or civil engineers would go out there, you know, look at bridges or dams uh, more like manually. You know, they would map out any sort of defect they see kind of visually uh, on paper. Uh, you know, if they if they think they have access to the structure, they would actually use a, a hammer and try to tap the concrete surface and understand if it's sound or delaminated or hollow, right? So, again, with the fine-tuned ears, they'll try to understand if there's any issue. So, again, if you look at the current method, it's, quite manual unsafe because sometimes it requires rope access, scaffolding, you know, even uh, helicopters and trains for some of the large dam infrastructures. So what we have done is actually come up with a end-to-end digital inspection method. So first we invented a, a drone-based methodology to collect the data all automatically. So these drones are pre-programmed. They fly autonomously so you can come back to the same location, capture the images and capture the data the same way. Now, the unique part of our data collection workflow is that rather than sending people out there and doing even the hammer testing, we've actually invented a method where a drone actually does the, the sounding method. The drone actually taps the concrete surface and collects the sounding waves that, under, you know, that allows us to understand what's happening below surface. Mm. Then we've actually developed the software auto stacks that feed all the data and apply artificial intelligence to understand, okay, where the deterioration is, how much is it, and then how it's changing over the period of time. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a combination of both the data collection and the, the software. Very interesting. And obviously, when we're talking about bridges, what's top of mind with everybody right now 
is the uh, the situation that we're seeing in Baltimore. How does having uh, this kind of data and information about structures help in in disaster situations like like what we're seeing in Baltimore right now? Yeah, so of course, Baltimore is a you know a tragedy event, and it was an accident. Of course, you know uh, we all know that you know even if we had designed this better, you know we would have not avoided this disaster of because course, yeah. you know no structure is designed for withstanding this type of load. But with that being said, you know, technologies like this allows us to understand the structural health much better compared to the current method. So if we can identify any weaker spots, right, uh, prior to this type of event, for example, uh, you know, we could actually potentially avoid this type of disaster, right, because we know, okay, you know, for this particular pier, here is the location where we have potential risk. So Definitely, we need to have some sort of protective measures to avoid this type of spot or repair it way in advance, uh, you know, before this type of event happens. At a, at a smaller scale, of course, compared to the, the Baltimore Bridge incident. Absolutely. And in more rural uh, rural and northern communities, how could this technology be applied? It's actually really great because now you don't need to send people out there in the rural area, right? Uh, you can actually send the drones out and then collect the data, and again, automatically, uh, everything is processed on cloud, and you can start understanding how things are changing. Because, again, in rural communities, some of the dams are really huge size, and mm-hmm. you know, it's really impossible to get the access the entire structure. Yeah. Um, what does it mean for you personally to be able to impact the safety of, of infrastructure around the world and improve the methods that are used to, to make sure that bridges and roads and dams are safe? Um, I think the the one thing I would like to say is that, you know, we've been really focusing on reactive maintenance and reactive, uh, you know, approach. So, you know, when things happen, we just start chasing. But, you know, what we've been really trying to push is to, rather than reactive approach, can we go into the predictive side? So, you know, in advance, we know already the structural health and we know where it's going. So we can actually do something about it. So we we avoid this type of surprises, right? That's the that's the, the goal, and that's kind of the the impact we are trying to make into the the world. Yeah. Uh, really interesting to speak with you about this technology today. Um, thank you so much, Harsh. Yeah, thanks for having me. That was Harsh Rafid. He started a company called Nerixon that uses drones and computer vision to complete infrastructure inspections.